It's a well-known fact among truck drivers. Dispatchers and middle management will lie to the drivers, usually to get them to do something that the drivers don't want to do, and usually for not very much money, if any. See if you recognize any of these. Yeah, yeah, we'll have the load ready for you as soon as you're empty. Which really means call when you're empty and then we'll start looking for a load for you. Nope, you'll never have to hand bomb any freight here. Which means you'll never have to hand bomb any freight as long as you got 150 bucks for the lumper. Nope, we don't run the Eastern Seaboard unless we get a good paying load going that way and then you're going. Call back in an hour and we'll have your load ready for you. That just means cross your fingers and call back in an hour. We pay the best mileage rate in the industry. Which means they just jack your more miles off your final pay. You won't have to wait to unload on this load. Back right in they'll unload you right away. Yeah, right. If there's a problem, call. We're a 24 hour operation. But I'm going home at five, sucker. It's first in, first out dispatch here. We don't play favorites. But if you're interested, I like scotch. We never run overweight here. Always legal. Uh-huh, until you need to buy fuel. You'll have plenty of time to make that delivery schedule. As long as you don't need to eat or sleep. Sure, we'll make sure you're home for the weekend. Yeah, but which weekend? We'll have a good load waiting for you when you get back. As long as you've remembered that bottle of scotch. No, that's not a bad part of town. You won't have any trouble going in there at night. We've never had trouble in there. Good luck. The customer is hot for this load. You gotta run. He needs it ASAP. How many times have you rushed your ass off gotten there and they don't even know anything about the load? They're not a load broker. They're an agent. They're a load broker. That's only 200 miles from where you are now. Maybe as the crow flies. There's no low bridges around there. Except for the one you can see in front of you. Anytime you've got a problem, come on in. We've got an open door policy. We're just like one big happy family here. Yep, they've got an open door policy. Come on in and we'll fire your ass. Now in truth, not all dispatchers are bad. The really good ones try very hard not to lie. But at the end of the day, truly, they're doing what they're told to do by their middle management staff. So you can't blame it all on the dispatcher. It's his job to get you to do this stuff, whether you want to or not. Whether you do it, that's your decision. Keep track of what dispatch tells you, and you'll soon get to know the good ones from the bad ones. And when the bad ones keep slipping it to you, call them on it. That'll cut down on that. Or ask your company for a different dispatcher and tell them why. Bear in mind that the job these guys have is to make the company money. So they're not always going to be able to make you happy and satisfy the company at the same time. At the end of the day, if you're going to make money in this business, you've got to have a good dispatcher that'll make you money. You can't afford to put up with a liar that screws you around. It's your paycheck that's at stake here. Just a heads up, keep your eye on them.